And we'll now take you live to Canberra, where the opposition's spokesman for uh, border protection, Michael Keenan, is speaking. And one of the reasons she gave for doing so was Kevin Rudd's failure to secure Australia's borders. Since that time, she's taken a bad situation that she inherited and made it significantly worse. And we've been reminded today with the, uh, another arrival uh, of a boat legally into Australia carrying 67 people um, that the rate of arrivals under Julia Gillard, the rate of illegal arrivals, has been greater than the rate of arrivals under her predecessor, Kevin Rudd. Uh, these 67 people are going to be taken to Christmas Island, uh, making the total of 340 people now held in limbo on Christmas Island. Uh, and the government doesn't know what it's going to do with them, even though they keep insisting they're going to be removed to a third country. Um, there is no third country that has a signed, sealed and delivered agreement to take these people. Uh, certainly not East Timor, certainly not Papua New Guinea, and we still haven't seen the Malaysian agreement, people swap agreement, come to fruition. Uh, if it is indeed the case that these people are going to be removed to Malaysia, then that means out of the 800 people that the government has negotiated to swap with Malaysia, uh, 340 of those places are already taken, uh, which begs the question about what's going to happen uh, once those 800 places are filled, considering that Julie Gillard and the Labor Party insist that the Malaysian people swap deal is somehow going to break the back of the people smuggling trade. The, um, the figures, um, you said there's more boats under Gillard than Rudd, but the figures um, that we see for the start of this year, well, first half of last year there were about 70-something boats, first half of this year there's been about 20-something, 30. That's Surely it's gone down. Uh, well, I was comparing her record to the record of her predecessor. Under both Labor governments there's been uh, 230 boats. Uh, 90 of these boats have been since Julia Gillard became Prime Minister and insisted that Kevin Rudd's failure on border protection was one of the reasons that she needed to knife him a year ago. Uh, more people have arrived here uh, under Julia Gillard if uh, you take it that she has been Prime Minister for a year uh, and Kevin Rudd presided uh, as Prime Minister for two and a half years. Uh, Thirteen and a half thousand people have arrived under Labor during that time. Uh, five thousand of those, or more than five thousand of those, have arrived under Julia Gillard's Prime Ministership. Would you concede since the uh, Malaysia deal has been announced there has been a slowdown in the number of boats that have been reaching Australian waters and the ones that may have reached Australian waters are people that were already on their way? Uh, well, uh, I don't think any... There's seven boats that have arrived since the announcement was made eight weeks ago. Uh, none of them would have been on their way uh, b before that deal was announced because it's only a travelling time of about 48 hours um, from Indonesia down to Christmas Island, which is where most of the boats are intercepted. Uh, the truth is that the people smugglers don't take the Labor Party seriously on these issues and the fact that they've sent seven boats down since that announcement was made uh, is an indicator that they don't believe that the Labor Party has the answers and they certainly don't see any evidence that the Labor Party has a resolve to break their, pe to break their business model. Is it ironic that it's happened on the first anniversary of her Prime Ministership? Well, it's not really, because we've had 90 votes since she became Prime Minister, and she's only been Prime Minister for a year. Um, so by rough calculations, that means we've had a vote once every four days under Prime Minister Gillard, um, when she said a year ago that uh, Kevin Rudd's failure to protect our borders was one of the reasons that she was going to need to take control of the situation, and that was one of the reasons why she did assassinate the former Prime Minister, or politically assassinate the former Prime Minister. Who makes a better uh, Federal Liberal Party president, Alan Stockdale or um, Peter Reef? Uh, well, I don't have a vote on organisational matters, and so I'll leave that to the organisational wing of the party. Uh, look, I'm always happy to leave these uh, matters of internal Liberal Party democracy to the people that actually vote on the conference floor tomorrow. Would what, you be what worried you if Peter Reith uh, was elected president that that could bring back the whole work choices scare campaign? Uh, no, I wouldn't, and I think that it's only Labor that are obsessed by, uh, are obsessed by industrial relations. Is Dick uh, contribution helpful this morning, though? Uh, well, look, I'll leave individual members to talk about this matter if they f would like to do so. But my opinion is that uh, uh, it's always best to leave organisational matters to the organisational wing of the party, and that's what I'll be doing. OK. Thanks, very much, Mike. Thanks Michael. No worries. Okay. Thanks, guys. So there we have the... Um, mm. That was Michael Keenan, the opposition's spokesman on border protection speaking there in Canberra. Well, let's uh, stay...